<clears throat> Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together. But first, pause the video, try it on your own, and then when you're ready to talk to me about it, press play. Okay, so let's read the problem together. For a recently released movie, the function y equals 119.67 times 0.61x to the x power, excuse me, models the revenue, that's money you're earning in, earned, and in y. Okay, so y, I'll write this down, and you should write this down too. Y equals the revenue earned. Right? I'm writing it down to identify it and retain it. That's how I do it. And I'm noticing, oh, it's okay, it's in millions of dollars each week x. So x represents the weeks that pass by. Notice how slow I'm going here. I'm not rushing. Um, for several weeks after its release. So they're saying it's not going to be indefinite. This equation only works for a couple of weeks. Based on the equation, how much more money in millions of dollars was earned in revenue for week three than for week five? Okay, so let's talk about this from a couple of angles. First of all, there's a movie that's being released. Doesn't it make sense that in the beginning, right, all the hype for the movie uh, sorry, in the beginning, earlier on, week three, uh, there's more hype for the movie. So it makes more money. And then over time, more and more people have seen it. And maybe they're not going to go back a second time. So typically, by week five, you might have less revenue. Of course, the reverse could happen with a cult flick, uh, where something gets more popular over time and was less popular in the beginning. But here, this is pretty typical for a movie uh, being released. That's a mainstream film. Now the equation. So first, let me write it out directly. Why? equals 119.67. This is our starting value. We'll talk about why that makes sense in a second. And then 0 0.61 to the x power. Well, x is the number of weeks. We just labeled that. Y is the revenue. What does 0 0.61 represent? Well, this is the percentage, in this case, decrease in revenue each week. Essentially, this is saying 61% of the previous week's earnings is now being earned the next week. And I'll show you what I mean. So, uh, and in general, this doesn't have to be a percent decrease. Uh, here's a side note. If it equals 1, if this is 1, then nothing changes, right? If it's less than 1, so we'll call this, let's call it P. If P equals 1, that's, so we're calling P this number here. If P is 1, nothing changes. There's no change. Right? What else could happen? Well, if P is greater than 1, then there's a percent increase. So like you see 1.5, for example, I mean a 50% increase. And then here, P is less than 1, which is our case, your percent decrease. Now, I'm going to talk briefly about why this makes sense, and then we're going to, if you want to, you can fast forward. Uh, we'll talk about how to quickly solve this problem. So here's some background. Um, so why does it make sense that 119.67 is a starting value? Let's do some calculations. So $119.67 million. That's, we can say, that's a starting value of the movie, because if we use the equation at the start, we do 0 0.61 to what power? What would be the start, right? Well, it would be 0, the zeroth power. And if you remember, uh, anything to the zero power, except zero itself, is one. So 0.61 to the zero power, that's just one. And this equals 119.67 times one. So generally, in any, ex this is called exponential function, this number in the front is the starting value because at the start, x is zero, and this term right here will always equal one. So all that's left is $119.67 million. Then the next time, the next week, we take 119.67 and multiply it by 0.61 or 61%. So we're losing value here, right? It's going, the value is going down. And here we can calculate it, but I'm not going to do it over and over again. So I'm just going to do it um, twice to show you what this is. 119.67 times 0.61. So we've lost a percentage, right? We've lost 39%. So it's 72.9987. If we divide that by 119.67, you can see that it's 61% of what we had before, right? So it's 72 million now. 72, about, I'm gonna, it's about 72 million. Then the third week, we would just do 119.67 
times 0.61 and then times 0.61 again. We're multiplying by 0.61 twice, or it's 0.61 to the second power. So on the calculator, we can just take um, 72.9987 and multiply it by another 0.61. Or we can take the original number and multiply it by 0.61 squared. And we have 44 million about. And you can see this is happening over and over again. But they want to know the difference between week five and week three, right? So here we're going to set up an equation and then just solve it. And that's how I quickly solve this problem. So it's 119.67 times 0.61 to the third. That's the third week revenue, which is more than the fifth week's revenue. Times 119.67 times 0.61 to the fifth power. And the calculator, what does this look like? Just throw it in there. 119.67 times 0.61. Right, now I'm going to raise that to the power of 3. But I'm going to put parentheses in there just to be safe. Second insert parentheses. And then close parentheses to the third power. Hit enter. And then subtract. 119, and we're almost done, 0.67 times parentheses 0.61 to the fifth power. Oops. Hit the carrot button to the fifth power, hit enter, and we get about 17 million. So we're losing 17 million dollars in that period, or as they were here, 17.06 million. All right, thanks.